I have been developing games for 8 years now, and in all my years of development, 97.5% of my frustrations have come from console porting. Fortunately, 97.5% of my profits also comes from console porting, so it evens itself out. Developing for consoles is expensive, both in terms of time sinking and engine fees. Let's have a look at Game Maker's business model. $50 a year if you want to release on PC, fair enough. $100 a year if you want to release on PC and mobile, that doesn't sound too bad. $800 a year if you want to release on consoles. Well, that's a big jump, went from $50 jump to $700 jump. Let's have a look at Unity. Everything is free, but $1,800 up front if you want to release on consoles. Now, some console companies have taken up the task to provide these Unity Pro keys for free, as long as you use them for publishing on their consoles. God bless them. But this doesn't remove the cost, it just shifts it to the platform holders. So why are the engine costs high? I believe there are two reasons. Number one, every platform has an SDK. In order to make your game work with their platform, you have to use the SDK as well as corresponding plugins. On non-console platforms, there is no requirement for your engine to keep up with the newest SDK. It's nice if they did, but they don't have to. The new SDKs introduce new features, as well as performance and security updates. But if you don't care about these extra features, you can just use the first one. So if your engine doesn't support the newest SDK, you just say, screw it, I'll just use the older ones. Because of this, the engine creators can just lay back and update their engine to the newest SDK version whenever they feel like it. As a result, chances of new bugs and issues occurring are fewer, and forum support is also easier. But with consoles, things aren't the same. Most consoles release new SDKs once every few months, and every time a new SDK comes out, an old SDK goes out. From my understanding, the reason they do this is because of security concerns. The outcome is that the people who make the engines have to now assign resources in order to keep up with these SDK updates. Reason number two, consoles are a closed ecosystem. This means that the source code for the SDKs is not publicly available. This, in turn, means that the people who make the engines have to figure out the code on their own using ancient methods. A majority of us have learned game development from reading random forum posts and watching random YouTube tutorials, and I assure you that the people who make these engines would prefer to do the same. If they can't, things will be harder and more expensive and the cost has to be outsourced to the end user. The closed platform issue also makes it harder for open source engines to partake in the console business. In order to be part of the closed platform, you have to be a closed platform. This forces open source engines to create non-open source alternatives, which breaks the entire nature of the open source. There is a solution for all this. The console companies could provide two paths for development on their platforms. One closed path for the AAA and larger indie companies and another one for smaller indies. And one of the three companies almost did this, Microsoft. Until 2020, Microsoft had two paths for releasing games on their consoles. The main path and the universal Windows platform. UWP ran inside an emulated environment. And for smaller scaled games, it worked. But unfortunately, Microsoft dropped support for it. Today, UWP supposedly works, but it also doesn't. I myself have pulled a lot of hair off my head trying to use this thing with Unity, and I would not recommend it. It's a shame, because having two paths would have solved the issue of high engine costs, and it would have allowed the open source engines to operate within the open environment. 